Hello friends, I'm going to start a series of videos on finding the area of shaded figures. That is a portion of the figure which is given in the question will be shaded and you will have to find how much area is shaded. Obviously, some dimensions of the figure will be given for carrying out or solving the problem. So here is the first problem in which we have a sector of a circle of sector angle 30 degree and that sector has been divided in two parts one part is shaded and one part is unshaded the radius of the larger sector is 7 cm and the radius of this small sector is 3.5 cm in this second figure we have a circle uh, in which qr is the diameter since it passes through the center of the circle and uh, we have a p point on this semicircle and R is joined to P and Q is joined to P and we have to find this area of the shaded part that is the segment. So these are the two problems and obviously in the second question some dimensions are given here. TQ is given as 24 cm and TR is given as 7 cm. So let's solve the first problem first. This is a question of area of sector. So obviously we will be using the formula for finding the area of sector. Now the larger sector has a radius 7 cm so I will call this capital R and the smaller sector has a radius 3.5 that's why I will call it small r. Now to find the required area which is shaded here you just need to find the total area and subtract the area of the unshaded portion from this. So required area will be equal to total area minus unshaded area because the shaded portion is not a particular figure so that is why we are making use of this uh, method of finding the shaded area so required area will be equal to total area minus unshaded area total area is the area of sector that is pi capital R square upon 360 into sector angle I will call it theta and unshaded area again it is a sector so I will use the same formula but with different radius that is small r into theta upon 360. So out of this we can take out pi into theta upon 360 common and we will be left with r square minus r square and now it is just the calculation part you have to do. So just substitute the value of pi as 22 by 7, theta is 30 degree, here it is given and 360 will come in the denominator followed by now r square minus r square. We all know the identity a square minus b square. We add the two and then take the difference of two, r plus r and r minus r. So what is r plus r? This is 10.5 and what is r minus r? It is 3.5. So instead of squaring both independently, we will use the identity here that will simplify our problem. So 3.5 cancels exactly 2 times and 2 cancels 11 times, 30 cancels 12 times. So we will leave this 12 as it is and remaining part we can solve it. Now this is 11 into 10.5 upon 12. That is the only thing we are left with in this problem. So how do you multiply 10.5 uh, by 11? So 11 5 is 55, 5, so we have another 5 and 11 ones are 11 and divide by 12 and to save time I have solved this already for you. The answer for this division will come out to be 9.625 and since we have centimeter here, centimeter square will be the unit of this answer. So a very simple problem of shaded area, I am taking up simple problems first so that you can use them in difficult problems later. So let's have the second question now. Now in this we must understand one thing that angle QPR will be equal to 90 degree. If you can identify this that this is 90 degree only then you will be able to solve this problem and why it is 90 degree because it is inscribed in a semicircle because all angles which are in inscribed in semicircles 
are right angles. So we need to use this concept here and obviously to find the area of this semicircle is also shaded this part small part here. So in order to find the semicircle area we need the radius and radius is half of the diameter. So we will find out the diameter first using these two sides which, is, which are the sides of a right triangle. So we will use Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, see these are uh, the concepts you need to remember because uh, you need to identify yourself that Pythagoras theorem is being used in this question. So R Q square will be equal to d square plus d square. So that is 24 square plus 7 square. And if you know square of 24, it is 576 and square of 7 is 49. If you add the two, it will become 625. So actually R Q square is 25 square and square gets cancelled giving us R Q as 25 centimeter. Now this is what is the first part of this question. You need to find the diameter first. So the diameter comes out to be 25 centimeter and half of that gives you the radius that is 25 by 2 centimeter. So I am not reducing it to uh, decimal form so that my calculation becomes little bit easier. And now all we need to do is to take the area of the semicircle and subtract the area of the triangle from this. So our required area will be equal to area of semicircle that is pi r square by 2 and we need to subtract the area of the triangle so half into base uh, we can take base as pr and height as qp or vice versa it doesn't matter rp into pq now see everything is known to us and all we need to do is to just put the values here and find the required areas. I will substitute the values and then you can solve the remaining part 22 by 7 into the radius. Radius is 25 by 2 and another 25 by 2 because it is square and this 2 comes in the denominator you can put it anywhere or and minus half into 7 into 24. Now this is the calculation we need to do for finding the final answer of this question. Here this part is very easy. This is 12, 7, 84. So this comes out to be something minus 84. And if you solve this, 2 also gets cancelled by 11. Now you need to multiply the numerator and the denominator separately. You will get 6, 8, 7, 5 in the numerator. And in the denominator we have 7 for the 28. So I have simplified the calculation for you. After this it is just a problem of taking LCM and dividing finally to get the final answer. The answer you will get is 161.54 centimeter square. So students these are two very common problems of area of shaded figures and I am sure knowledge of these two problems will help you solve some tough problems of area of shaded figures. Very amazing video for class 9th and above students and also for competitions. So kindly see the entire series of videos which I will be posting in subsequent time. Till then, if you like the video, do share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel.